Hi guys! It's the 8th <laughs> of April. 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 Yeah. And what have you come out to watch, down. Dan? The marathon! So where we live in Manchester, they're doing, it's the Manchester Marathon this weekend. So if anyone's done it today, well done. Um, you've done amazing. And we've come out to, basically near where we live what is on the route. I can go, Mummy. Ooh. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, so basically where we live is the route for the marathon to go into Manchester. So we've come along down the road, walk with the kids, they can cheer them on. Can't they? Yeah. Em? Um, where is she? Are you going to cheer them on? Have we left my dad? Oh, my dad's come with us as well. Who does not want to make a guest appearance today on the vlog. So we've come to cheer people on. Because that is something that I literally admire so much the people that have done it who could no way, shape or form, ever, ever do that. And they're just doing amazing. But I love it. I think like the fact that everyone gets together and comes out and cheers them on the street. And they've obviously got the water stations further down, so we've come out to show our support, haven't we, my darling? Yeah. We're just saying it's something that we couldn't do. So we've come out for a walk to cheer them on. Dan's been a little cutie and offering jelly babies to the runners to keep them going. The point that we're at now is how we'll say three and a half hours they've been running. Three and a half hours they've been running. Well done to get to this stage. So Dan's off. Hey! He is very jolly. Rick, just shout out Jelly Babies and shout There's Jelly Babies if anyone needs any. Oh, we got this, we got this. You got this, Tim Man. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> well done, guys. Emily, you're meant to be offering those out to the runners. Come <laughs> on, coming. Say well done, ladies. So keep the fashion in. I think this one's been a bit exaggerating about the weather. It's not actually that hot. It so is. we have finished watching the runners that have come oh, through. Mom, so one, you oh, can have one thanks. and I can have one. Thanks, babe. Because there's two. There's two of them. Are you coming up? Um, so once again... Do you want to... Do you want... Um, once again we wanted to say a huge massive like congratulations didn't yeah. we to all the people that have done the Manchester Marathon to be honest anyone that does anything any marathon like that like that was so humbling and what got me was I couldn't eat probably so many times you could hear despite my chest which is still bad I'm back at the doctors tomorrow more antibiotics but we could still um it was like a lump in my throat because it was seeing like the vests of some of them that were saying like um, what they were running for like um was it dep depression and all sorts of stuff and it was it was just really humbling it was so humbling to see you want to see a um, funny way to travel so you get a scooter and you sit down and then do come here come quick um yeah so a massive if anyone's watching that has done the, the manchester marathon anyway Dan, please, come on, come on. Okay. Um, so we just want to say a huge, massive congratulations and well done, don't we? If yeah. anyone's watching the Man a Manchester big Marathon, well a done. big well done. To all of you that who's done the marathon. Um, also, um, yeah, Manchester. so we came in to a, a little bistro pub that's at the end of our road and we had a little drink and yeah, And it some isn't far from our home, isn't it? No, we just had some snacks. It's just around the corner. <laughs> we had some snacks before we're heading home. Yeah. Grandma's back and for once, we're not starting a vlog saying it's raining. It's actually, I know it's really cloudy, but it's actually quite warm. So we're going to head back now and, and wander home. Like You're in a t-shirt, we're going to wander back anyway. Hi everyone! Hi! <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm building my train set all the time away. You're doing amazing I'm, there, little I'm, man. I'm just building a shed over here so the car can go in because the car is over here and, and it can go on the ramp if, if a race is on. That is epic. Which car is it you're using, Dan? Uh, this racing. This racing. That's well cool. Yeah. You do such good building. What cutie. Yeah. Hi guys. So we're much later coming back in. As you saw before, we went down, we were supporting all the runners for Manchester. Um oh, I keep saying this, don't I? I'm gonna get this cut look at how can I say? Um I'm actually 
I'm doing the worst thing in the world later. I'm tempted to trim it myself because I need to get to the hairdressers. It's just slotting time in with the kids anyway. That, I'm going off track. I do that. I go off track. Um, we didn't film when we came back because we had, for the first time at our house, we had um, Rick's parents come round and we had Rick's grandparents come round, which was really nice to see them. Um, it was, I just literally, I love his grandparents so much. They're so, so sweet. So we, we like, had a family little get-together. I'm not going to sit and film everyone doing that. So we're just going to have a bit of a catch-up time with them. Um, and now it is quarter past six and um, Rick oh, has wait. nipped the shops. Yes, darling? <gasps> Which one is it? You know who that is, don't you? Yeah, Dusty. Dusty, isn't it? Dusty Crop Hopper. But with the silver. You like, you love cars, don't you? Yeah. Planes, Disney cars and planes. I like that, that big jet. The, the, the holder one that carries them all in it? Yeah. That well, was a good one, You're wasn't so it? You're so beautiful. I love you. You're so cute, Dad. Oh, what have you found? I found a lift. That goes on your set, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, the big truck set. So basically, Rick's just nipped to the shops. He's just... The shops at the end of the road just to go up to go and get some... Um, Last little bits, I'm I'm cooking tonight a, um, I'm attempting to cook our own little, like, little takeaway take away thing. So I'm doing beef and broccoli with, um, like a soy oyster sauce thing. So, oh, I just realised how much longer my hair's getting, actually, it's looking out. Um, so Rick's just nipped to go and get the broccoli, um, for that. I wanted a fresh broccoli for it. So he's gone to get that and yeah, we're just kind of, it's just, it's so nice today because today's the first day that Rick has been off for kind of like the week because obviously he works, he works in retail so. Mummy, it's my birthday today. You wish it was. So yeah. it's like finding time off but for the next week, Rick's got the day, uh, the whole week off with us. So we're having a family week off with so you need to stay tuned. We have got surprises, surprises planned that you don't know about. So you need to stay tuned and come along with us for I that. You, come Mom, along with that. You need to come along with us for... So yeah, we have surprises sorted. So come along with us for the next week. Um, really, really. And um, we're just going to have, basically it's so nice, isn't it, Dan, that Daddy's yeah. off for, Rick's off for a week off. Um, he booked, um, one of the other managers had the first week off with his family, uh, his wife and children, and then Rick opted for the second week. So he's off for a full week, which we don't really often get that much time together I'm just realising how red I am I'm still, I'm persevering guys, I'm still my coffee, I'm not coughing as much which is really, really good so fingers crossed that cough is finally booting its way out but um, I'm still full of a cold so, but that's not going to stop us having some Easter family fun um, so now, Ooh, to be honest look at this piece I've got Ooh. is that from your Chuggington set? yeah it's a little turntable thing isn't it? yeah I forgot how it works. It goes on one of the pieces. You've not played with that train set for so long, little man. So now, because of the time it is 20 past six, we are just going to have a chill time. I'm going to go and cook tea. We're going to have a nice family tea around and the I'm dining table. Later, We've given you an extra hour, haven't we? Yeah. So Em's, uh, obviously, usually both of ours, we probably sound really restricted, but both of ours are usually in bed for... Emily goes to bed at seven and Dan goes to bed about quarter past seven. That isn't us being mean as parents. It's literally we know our kids and we know the fact that they cannot, they can't stay awake, they can't cope it. They are so tired because they're so used to just naturally going to bed at that time. But it's the holidays and we're not being mean, mummy and daddy. So what we've said to do is to give Dan um, his own bit of extra time with us we do it in different ways for both of them so emily gets time 
Dan gets time. So we're giving Daniel some time to be with mummy and daddy. We're going to play trains and we're going to put a film on, aren't we? So you're going to get an extra hour. He's going to go to bed at 8 o'clock tonight and Emily's going to be in bed at 7. So... Yeah, we're just having like quite a... I don't know how to work out. That doesn't fit on there, darling. It goes on your um, castle set, that one. Yeah. So basically, we've just had like quite a chilled Sunday because with the marathon going on, the roads around where we live um, were shut anyway. Yeah. Um, um, so they were shut, weren't they? So, which we completely understand. So you couldn't get anywhere in the car. And I think if anything, it's made us all go for a walk together, fresh air. And it's just felt like today's felt like, like a proper Sunday, like a family Sunday, which is really nice. So... Yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to have some tea and we're going to have a chill. So hopefully everyone... Ever... Nice, peaceful chill. A peaceful chill. Hope everyone else is having a lovely weekend. Okay, one stick to <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I want to see you. I start, I start filming and coughing and Emily comes over oh, and Dan goes, look what Emily's found. A stick that's like double the size of her. Oh, you need to we have decided. Daddy. Carry that, Dan. We have decided. Oh my word! It is. What was it, Rick? Ten past seven. Ten past seven, and look at it. The sun's like sun. It's not even a sunset. The sun is very. Look at that sky. So we've decided to come out for a walk right behind our house. There is a brook over here. It goes all the way down. And the park is just behind our house. So we've decided. Oh, can I have a little look at the river? Don't go near. Don't go near. No, no. Okay. So we've decided to come for a walk. And um, over the brick, over oh, the brick, over the brook, we, have you got them? We are going to play poo sticks. So we are collecting. Oh. Well, Daddy, get it. Put it that. Dan. Please, can I have this heavy one, Mum? Let Emily have a go. Daddy, let me hold it. It's quite heavy. Is it heavy? So we are out. How could you not come out when it's like this? We were like, why are we about to put the kids to bed? Because we were running round, weren't we, after tea? Running round, and look at it. Ten past seven, clear blue sky. Right, th that's a little... <laughs> hey, that's a treat. That's not really... If I laugh, I sound like an eight-year-old smoker. If you're an eight-year-old smoker watching, I apologise. I don't smoke, never have. But with my chest and when I laugh and cough, I sound like I've smoked a million a day. Not that I'm against smokers, you, it's your choice, do what you want to do. But Yeah, look at this large stick. <coughs> <coughs> what game are we going to go and play, Dan? Uh, poo sticks. Poo sticks. We're going to go and play poo sticks. I'm sure it's called poo sticks. It's what I, <laughs> I grew up playing. So you, we're going over to the brook, we're going to drop the sticks on the bridge and then have a little family race over the brook. Do you want me to carry them for you, darling? No. Okay. Literally, you would not think that it was like ten past seven now, would you? Look at it. Mum, I think this is a bit dramatic. Dan, come and show... <laughs> Dan, that isn't even like for poo sticks. Look at it. That's a tree. That's a tree and a log. The idea, Dan, is sticks, yeah. not a tree. <laughs> well, I'm getting this one. Dad, look, look at the size of it over here. Dad, at what point did we actually go find Gandalf's stick? <laughs> 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 Gandalf's stick. You shall not pass. There's a tree. Wow. <laughs> 
it's going, it's going. Oh! Is she throwing them all? She's throwing them! Throw them in, quick, throw yeah. them in. They might be different sizes for sort of a race. Well, they're slightly. They're not. <laughs> Shall we try it again? Not a bit of a few times, look. Oh, I just dropped it on the fence. Do you want me to, can, can Mummy drop one? Well, I'm going to find some. It kind of defeats the race. Should we go for a walk, Em? Yay! You've got to watch on the yeah, other side. Sitting, Has Dan's sitting, come through? Mine's sitting blocked on your sticks. <laughs> Is that Dan's? That big one. Has it come through? Yeah. Oh, no there. way. Side, uh, big six block on the other side. Right, come. Hi, Rick. Okay. Rick, say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. Give us a big wave, Richard. Yahoo! This <laughs> a good stick. Well, we finished that level. What yeah, happens yeah. on level seven? Yeah. Right, we're going to walk over this way because I'm there is a park. There. Going yeah. to the park. Oh. Oh, We're gonna go to the park. Drop, this drop that one on the way back. No. Emily, drop <laughs> come on. <laughs> we'll drop that on the way back. No, do it now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, the doggy likes the stick. <laughs> come. Come on, let's look. Are you for real? <laughs> See? What plane is it, Dan? Virgin. No. no. You're on the wrong track, love. Yeah, it's easy, Jack. Wrong track? We're going to the park. No. Can you get me over? No, come on, you can climb. Go, Dan. Go, Dan. Yeah. Woo! It's what? Ten to eight. Ten to eight, but look at it. Yeah. It's ten to eight. Hey, Give us a wig. <laughs> come. Top's not white anymore, is it? No. I'm pushing back, Em. Come on, we're going to head back because look, it's 10 to 8 now. Come get our ice cream. If we see him, deal? Yeah, come, come go past Okay, him. Mum, deal. Well, we have to see... No. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> so you do an actual... Oh, she actually did it. Yeah, she, did. she did it. <laughs> It was me, that's right. <laughs> so only if we see him. Mum, can we go down that road and see him? Mum, come and chase us. The marathon went the other way. <laughs> really bad counsellors. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Amazing counsellors for our area that support us. Mum, come and chase us. No, come on, we're walking back. Had him? Yeah. If we see him going back. Can I go on the loose? It looks beautiful. It's such a nice evening, yeah. isn't it? So we've got the brook and the houses. Can we just have one? We're walking back to our house. No. Because it's really honestly down by that it's really boggy and it breaks. It doesn't it's not like normal, it crumbles, and if you crumble into that. I'm not pulling you out because it's wet and horrible and mucky. And it has poo in it. Nice. I can hear the ice cream Let's see if we can find him. Where is it, Daddy? <laughs> Rick. Can I go Come here. Hot dog! Hot dog! Hot dog! Everybody, yeah. go behind me. I've not given much love. I've not been given much love. He hasn't. Guys, we'll make you go behind Emily. And We're behind you. Standing on the line. We need to stand on this the line. This is Rick. 
Hi, this is Kay. <laughs> He's, I'm on, they know me by now, guys. This is Mr. Higgins, who works like a workhorse. Is that what you What would you say? What's he saying? And basically, just because of what he works, you're probably not going to see him much. But there is a Mr. Higgins and there is a daddy around. There is. There is a daddy around for the babies, isn't there? But it's just because of what you work. Something in what? Your shoe? Yeah. There's your something foot. in her shoe. It's your foot. Or oh, I'll help you. She has a stone in her shoe and it's tickling. Oh, that's it. Sit on your bike. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, look at this family! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just search for the Higgins house on YouTube! <laughs> 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 Literally. Dan, happy in now. Dan. Yeah. Come on, babe. We literally feel energized, refreshed, Rick. Knackered, <laughs> tired. <laughs> no, it's so nice. This is what I love about this time of year. Oh, oh, Do it again. You shall not <laughs> bit of Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings quote there. Um, this is the time of year we absolutely love. Come out and it's like, oh, it's obviously getting darker now, but to be out at, let me check the time, at, at five to eight, and for it to look like this at night, it's amazing. We love it. We just ran into those <laughs> girls and then I should have filmed it. They came back. So we didn't get your names. They were they ran over and then they ran past and, <coughs> and then they came back. Emily gave them a hug. So girls, you know who you are. If you are watching the Higgins house, it was lovely to meet you. And Stay tuned because we'll probably bump into you again round and about. But it was really nice to meet you guys and we hope yeah, you have a lovely weekend. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I'm going so to exhausted. catch you, Emily. That's what you want to hear from kids. Go on, dude. That's what you want to hear. We're exhausted. But to be honest, just to have that time as a family to go out, get some fresh air and just feel energised. This is what I love. So anyway, we're probably going to end this vlog here I think because well we are actually it's five to eight and we're gonna put the squigglets gonna get them washed changed ready for bed so everyone are we gonna say night night, night. Emily say night night. night night so from us guys until tomorrow stay tuned we have some really exciting surprise trips planned <laughs> We've got some exciting trips planned, but we love you all loads. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We love you loads and we'll see you soon. Bye.